The Namib is the oldest desert on Earth, estimated to be at least 55, 80 million years old. It stretches along the Atlantic coast of Namibia for about 2,000 kilometers, and its name means vast place in the local Nama language. The Namib lies along the western edge of the African tectonic plate. Around 130 million years ago, during the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana, the Atlantic Ocean began to open up between South America and Africa. The desert is built upon the ancient rocks of the African Craton, especially the Damara Belt, providing a stable geological foundation. This stability has prevented significant topographic reshaping, allowing sand dunes and arid plains to persist for tens of millions of years. This led to the uplift of the Namibian escarpment, creating a rain shadow effect that significantly reduced precipitation on the inland side. One of the primary drivers of the Namib's aridity is the Benguilla Current, a cold ocean current that flows northward along the southwest African coast. It cools the air above it, reducing its capacity to hold moisture, and causes frequent fog but very little rainfall. As a result, coastal areas like Swakopmund receive less than 20 millimeters of rain per year, yet are often blanketed in morning fog. Near Swakopmund, the dunes are enormous, golden-orange sand mountains, some reaching over 300 meters high. These dunes are constantly shifting due to coastal winds, creating ever-changing patterns and shapes. The moon landscape, just inland, is a stark rocky terrain shaped by erosion over millions of years. The Namib near Swakopmund is one of the few deserts in the world where life depends on fog. Moisture-laden fog rolls in from the Atlantic almost daily sustaining insects, reptiles, and even plants through condensation. Though it may seem barren at first glance, the Namib Desert is home to an astonishing array of wildlife, uniquely adapted species that have evolved over millennia to survive in this fog-fed ecosystem where rainfall is rare and temperatures can swing dramatically between day and night. The Namib sand gecko is translucent skin and webbed feet for easy dune movement, can absorb water through its skin and captures condensation nocturnal, using burrows to escape daytime heat. The sidewinding adder is a small but venomous snake that moves in a distinctive sideways motion to reduce contact with hot sand, often hides beneath the surface ambushing insects and small lizards. The Namaqua chameleon is one of the few chameleon species adapted to desert life. Changes color not just for camouflage, but also to regulate temperature. Diet includes insects and even small vertebrates. The wildlife of the Namib Desert near Swakopmund is not only resilient, but also ingenious.